We're joined now by three young women who were there at Borderline Bar and Grill celebrating a 21st birthday when the shooting broke out. Taylor, Sarah, and Nellie, thank you so much, all three of you, for joining us there this morning. And our hearts go out to you. Please know that. And I, I know, Nellie, that it was your, it was your birthday. Taylor, can you tell us uh, what you saw when the shots first rang out? Um, so I was on the dance floor dancing, and all of a sudden I heard the shots. I turned around, and I saw it was an actual person with a gun, and I couldn't believe it at first, but my initial reaction was to run and take cover. So I did just that, and go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry. Please continue. I'm sorry. So I took cover, a bunch of people dogpiled on top of each other, and uh, it was, after the first round of shots, it was silent for like five seconds, and then a couple of guys that were next to me um, got up and started sprinting for the back door, and uh, everyone just yelled, run, he's coming. And so there was at least 50 people that all tried getting up at once and running out the back door. Um, I ended up getting caught on the ground and stumbled over by multiple people. I got hit in the head by a stool that was being picked up to throw through a window um, until some guy came up behind me, grabbed me, and said, get up, we're, we have to go. Just a chaotic scene and everybody doing the best that they could and trying to help as many as they could. Sarah, I understand that you saw the shooter when, when, the, when he came through the door? Yes, um, I was sort of kind of turned that way towards the door and I I definitely saw the shooter um, draw his gun um, and I dropped to the floor. Um, a friend yelled everybody down and um, we, we uh, were hiding behind tables trying to keep ourselves covered and I looked behind me and there was spark and smoke started coming out and someone yelled, someone told me like, that's a smoke, that's a smoke bomb. We, so as soon as we all saw that, we jumped up and I don't, I don't think God I was able to run out the front door. I ran out the front door, um, down some stairs, face planted in the parking lot, but I was um, lucky, lucky enough to get out alive. Yes, you were. And we're thinking of all those that were there, including yourselves and those that were killed and the, and the sheriff's deputy who rushed in to try and do what he could. We heard about the bartender that was helping. Can you just describe how people were just doing the best that they could, Taylor, to in that situation to help as much as they could? Um, so while we were all dogpiled over at the side, there were multiple men that would that got on their knees and pretty much blocked all of us with their back towards the shooter, ready to take a bullet for any single one of us. Mm. And just the amount of people that um, made sure everyone got out okay, or if they were out, they made sure they went around to every single person around them and asked them if they're okay and if they needed a phone to call their family, or just just in general, any way they could help. It was it was awesome. And we know that you still have some friends that are, are missing. Can Nellie, can anybody tell us about your friends and, and how you hope to find them? So we have two friends that are missing, um, Cody Kaufman and Daniel, by the way. They were in there with us. Um, they were by I was, Sarah. I was hiding with Cody. And as soon as they got up to run out, they, we just lost we all them behind lost us. Each other. We, we all separated. So we don't know if they were still in there. If they got out, we don't know where they are at all. And how, how the three of you, how are you all doing right now? How are you able to, to hold up after after seeing what you saw just, just moments ago, not long ago? It it, it does not feel real. Mm. Um, it feels, it, it, it's, I'm in shock. I'm in shock, I'm terrified. I'm horrified at this, but I, I know I have my good friends with me, and we're glad every one of us is okay. Yeah, we're just praying for our friends that we haven't heard from, but yeah, I, 
it's it's a traumatizing thing to have, have been a, even witness and uh, you never think it's gonna be you until it until it happens and like this is this is a problem like this is this is real and it's awful it's awful well thank you three so very much and as you said you're you're no doubt in shock and please get the care that you need uh, Nellie Sarah Taylor uh, we hope that your friends are, are found